the adventure begins the second you leave your house. So it's not like you start camping. To me, you don't start camping when you pull up to the campsite. You start camping the second you freaking leave the house. Yeah, yeah, kid. You like that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vloggy vlog. Welcome as we cruise around the most beautiful, the most sexy Greenpoint, Brooklyn on this gorgeous Thursday. Look at this place. People are having pizza parties and shit. That's pretty cool. Look at these, look at this construction around here. I love it. My boy, I'm about to pass you. I love all these buildings around here. I'm a huge, huge fan. More, more, more. Obviously, I understand uh, the implications that this does to uh, the actual... Oh, what's over there? To, like, you know, the economy and all that. Like, ooh, those are cute bikes. But... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just the sheer beauty of the new developments. Even these apartments. I mean, look at this. If that was like your uh, little like, living room and whatnot, that could be kind of cool. I'd be into that. Look at this park and these views of the city. It's a fantastic area. Fantastic area. So, long story short, welcome to another vloggy vlog. My, this vlog is actually, it has a purpose. It's not just about uh, how I admire this little cute neighborhood. It's about gas tank question from DJ, uh, not DJ, uh, Minister Motor Vlogs, because I was going to call him by his old name, but Minister Motor Vlogs is the, is the true new name of this man. But he basically asked me, I don't have a, I usually have like a little piece of paper here. Uh, but the question is, oh, another Bronco. Um, how I got into camping, why I got into camping, when I got into camping, and uh, what was my first camping experience like? Because my man wants to get into the motor camping. That person I thought was a cop. They were trying to like pull me over or something, but not a cop at all cop over there though um, this is Gotham nice good stuff there we go that was a uh, Gotham uh, Gotham motos it's up like a parking garage I can't tell what that guy is doing. Is he like trying to like flag me down or some shit? I'm confused. Cause it's like a flashing uh, emergency vehicle kind of thing. Pickup truck going after me. So anyway, let's, uh, let's figure this out. Let's get to the bottom of it. How did I get, bro? Why is this guy in my ass? Go ahead, bro. What are you trying to fucking accomplish? fucking weirdo that guy was really on an emergency strange motherfucker where is he flying to awkward can I please start this vlog everybody who actually like see here's the thing people who clicked on this vlog because they're gonna find it useful they already clicked away because the introduction has been like 10 minutes already right anyway this right here is another park that I used to go to back in the day to do sketchy shit and to, uh, you know, ride my bicycle around. But let's begin, please, let's begin. So I've only been camping for about three years, okay? Um, and it started randomly. 
I always liked, you know, campfires and steak and, you know, being in the forest by yourself, that kind of thing. But I've just never considered the possibility of actually camping because it's a lot of equipment. At the end of the day, if you think about camping, it's a ton of equipment, a ton of stuff you gotta buy, you know? A tent, a sleeping bag, sleeping pillows, you know, like a little sleeping pad, freaking camping chair, all sorts of little headlamps and frying pans and stoves you know, knives and other little things. There's like, there's like a list of 30 different things, some of which you'll find in the description or in my vlog where I actually talked about everything I use. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's intimidating. And I always wanted to do it, but I was just like, how am I gonna do it? And then with motorcycles, I was like, there's something really cool about like having all of your kit compactly, just like chilling, you know, in these bags. And after I went cross country, using a 20 and a 30 Krieg, I was like, bro, if I can freaking go to California and bring enough stuff, I can certainly go to like the Catskills and bring enough stuff. And that's what, uh, and that's what, what happened. Uh, I then saw an article on uh, internet that legit said, everything you need to go camping for $300. And it was all a bunch of like cheap Amazon shit. Some of the shit I still use today. And uh, uh, I wonder if I can find that article. I'm sure those all those Amazon links would be dead by now anyway, but I could maybe find it and link it below. But yeah, it's basically like a list. Like if you go down my uh, list of all the items I have, that's essentially all the basics, you know, that I bought for three bills. And that was a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful thing. Uh, and I bought everything little by little. And I don't remember how obviously it also helped that I had a few friends who were also into camping, either have been camping or are trying to get into camping. So it was actually nice to like uh, experience it with other buddies of uh, the same skill level, you know, other buddies who have no experience at all as well. So that was a big motivator. And then uh, eventually it was, time to go camping by myself and the first time I went camping uh, I went to Wharton Forest Worthington no Wharton Forest uh, the Pine Barrens of New Jersey and uh, it was just like a bunch of sand and all that uh, and uh, it, it was actually really neat and I got super lucky my first experience was awesome uh, I pulled up because uh, I because you know what like if you're camping by yourself one of the biggest concerns is that how are you gonna leave your tent and your gear and all your stuff behind? Because like, you're not gonna be able to get firewood because uh, some places you can't just chop down a tree or find dead trees like Pine Barrens, like it was no, everything would pick. So I had to leave my gear behind to get beer and food and uh, firewood and all of that. And it was kind of uh, nerve wracking, I'll be honest with you just because I was like, bro, I don't trust any of these people. And there wasn't that many people around either. So I literally was just like, oh, I guess it's just uh, me, myself, and I. And I just have to uh, trust the process and leave all my shit behind. But it worked out amazingly. Uh, what happened is uh, I literally pulled up, look at the popo. Popo is like, are they in an emergency? I can't tell. No, I don't think they're in an emergency anymore. Oh, brother. You got it. All right, so what was I talking about? Can't remember. The Popo is gone, but. So I got lucky because I dropped off all my stuff, right? And as I was leaving to go get beer and some steaks and sausage, whatever I was gonna eat, I don't remember steak it was, uh, this dude was pulling up to the campsite in a pickup truck and he legit was like, oh, cool bike, man, blah, blah, blah. We talked about the bikes and how he rode and all that. And he was like, man, like, how are you gonna get firewood on this baby? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, oh, I'll take two trips. I don't need much, you know, figure it out. 
And he was like, bro, I got you. He was like, give me 10 bucks. And I was like, all right. And I, he got me so much firewood. Holy cow. Because it was like $3 a, a bushel. He got me like five. Like, I had as much firewood as I as the bike is, is the size. He dumped out it, dumped it out from his pickup truck. It was amazing. So, got really lucky there. That was wonderful. And, uh, yeah, then I just chilled. Had a bunch of beer. Got some steaks. I had some sausages. And just, like, hung out by the fire. And uh, I was listening to audiobooks. I don't remember what I was listening to. Probably, like, James Bond or something. Good. You're fine. Um, probably James Bond or something. Is this guy turning? No, he's not. Can I still go straight? Is it possible? I think so. So yeah, I just chilled and listened to an audiobook and relaxed. And it was completely, completely fun. And completely, completely normal. And then uh, the next morning, oh man, it's fucking filthy here. Hello. It's filthy here. And I didn't want to go here, to be honest with you. Just look at all these fucking puddles and mud. Oh God, that sucks. It really sucks. I'm gonna try to go slow. Because that shit is gonna definitely, uh... it's a cool little park. Oh, hell yeah. I love it. They're doing like little, uh, little stunts. Wow. That's pretty sweet. These are pretty sweet spots. So yeah, long story short, first experience was awesome. You know, it was just gorgeous. I had fucking roaring fire all day and then I was hooked. And after that, I went with my buddies, uh, some of my high uh, college friends, not college friends, but fucking hell, just regular friends. I just went with friends. And uh, that was also awesome. It was, uh, this time it was not in New Jersey, it was in the Catskills. It was uh, by Bear, Bear Creek, or some shit like that. That was cool, it was like three, four of us. Then I went again, like the following week, with my buddy Jay, and uh, yeah, over the time, I went with many, many, many friends to many places. At this point, I've been camping about 20 times. And uh, it was freaking awesome. You just have to get over that whole little uh, barrier of... Because the, cause there is an element of fear involved. Because you are, you know, by yourself in a place you've never been technically surrounded by wild animals and beasts you know uh, I could see how it's scary nowadays because I go upstate I go into Catskills a lot and there's legit bears I've seen them they're out there so uh, I always bring a, a can of uh, pepper uh, bear spray basically like pepper spray that I can just have on me I wish I could have a little nine millimeter on me pop 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 but it's not that serious uh, but yeah the, the matter is just like and the thing is if you go camping with friends with your buddies for the first time you don't even need to have all the equipment you can legit just have uh, some of it you know you have some of the equipment and then the rest you can borrow from them and then over time you buy it and you don't have to buy everything at the same time you know you can like slowly surely but there's a few mistakes that people make there's a few pieces of gear that people choose not to get because they think they don't need it. And that's kind of silly. And uh, like things like a camping chair, you know, or a little stove or like a way to make coffee. Like you have to be self-sufficient. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Because like when you're first starting out, you don't even think about it. But like if you like camping by any means at all, get yourself a camping chair. Because that's like not having a camping chair is straight up silly talk. I don't understand how people ever do that. What does it even mean to not have a camping chair? Nice truck, nice tall truck. So I hope that answers that question, but have I had any issues? No, I mean, the, the worst thing that can happen when you're camping is you have loud neighbors next to you or something, or it starts to pour before you set up. Because like after, if it pours after you set up, and you're sitting in your tent or you got you under your tarp, whatever. It's all right, you know, it's fine. 
as long as like everything is dry and you can start a fire but if it's pouring rain when you're pulling up and you got to set up in the rain and you got to get supplies and all that all of a sudden you better have a good attitude because if you have a bad attitude that's gonna go pear-shaped real quick the whole experience so beyond that no real issues you know it's all good it's all fun and what oh look at that little Suzuki so whatever whatever you end up doing wherever you end up going it's literally all good it's part of it it's an adventure you have to remember that like the adventure begins the second you leave your house so it's not like you start camping to me you don't start camping when you pull up to the campsite you start camping the second you freaking leave the house the second you're you know on your sweet little merry way to wherever it is you're going and my bike seems to be working knock on wood so i don't know i don't know what that means like as much as i want to do that repair that's the thing about my bike so yeah that concludes that topic but uh as much as i want to do that repair that uh i was talking about look at these people we're not going to make the next slide are we jerk off jerk off it wouldn't be a vlog without me calling somebody a fucking cook sucker um anywho um yeah it only happened two times this little uh the little issue so i don't know i don't know what that means but i know that one day the bike will just not start and i'll be many miles away i need my baby to be as reliable as anything as reliable as anything Come on, baby. Man, this bike is a fucking weapon. This bike is a weapon. Technically, I could, like, go somewhere today. I could legit go to, uh, freaking, uh, New Paltz. Uh, my buddy, New Paltz? No, Nyack. My buddy lives over there, and uh, I go grilling there. So I could easily just freaking pop over there real quick. And it's going to be all right. But I just don't trust it. I don't like not trusting my bike. And it's so warm out right now. Freaking jerk off. Look at this freaking old ass dude. Old ass dude. Anyway, boys and girls, thank you for watching, all right? I wanted to get out for a little ride. I wanted to record a little vlog for y'all. Sorry for the long introduction. And uh, thank you for watching as always and all that, you know? Subscribe only if you want. But please don't do it if you don't. Bye.